Hi, I'm Dominic West, narrator of The Riverman by R.B. Croft, and this is my Audible 8. What's your favourite sound? The bird song outside of my bedroom window on that May day. It's an amazing sound at about 4 o'clock in the morning, 4.30 in the morning. What do you most like about recording audio? Uh, what I most like about recording audio is that you don't have to look all right. You don't have to, you don't have to brush your hair or, or dress for the occasion. Describe the river man in ten words or less. Bonkers. Exciting. Uh, totally surprising. You don't know where it's going next. There we are, ten words. Do you have a favourite or memorable line from the recording? I've got lots of favourite lines from the recording. This is one of them. It gives you an idea about, about, about the book. Then he ran into the church, a dead pike in one hand, a spliff in the other, and a shotgun strapped to his back. Who would you most like to read you a bedtime story? I have a ten-year-old daughter. Um, and uh, we read each other bedtime stories, so I love it when she, she reads mine. We, we read um, Dirty Beasts, that's it. I always fall fast asleep way before she does. What's something that cheers you up no matter what? My dog Whiskey cheers me up no matter what. He just looks at me with eyes saying, what would you like now, master? And that always cheers me up. Well, we've got a, a mad cat as well. I struggle with her psychopathic murderous tendencies. She brings in a dead mouse every morning. How do you get ready to record audio? Do you have any vocal warm-ups that you can show us? The only thing I find useful is a police siren or an ambulance siren. <laughs> and that gets you out of your throat into your head voice. And that, in theory, keeps the pressure off your vocal cords. Because if you, otherwise, if when, you, when I wake up, I'm sort of down here like that. That gets me um, the higher overtones. Can you do an emoji with just your face? My favorite emoji is definitely this one which is um, it's the one that sort of orcs, you know, it's the one that expresses sort of, oh dear, awkward. It's brilliant. It, it applies to almost every message I send people. 